Hello, friends, and welcome back to the Far Post podcast. I'm your host today, Elizabeth Fajoda, joined by Jeff Lemieux as well. Jeff, how are you doing? I see the beard is coming in in full now, seven weeks into social distancing. Yeah, you know, it's getting, it's a, it's a little scraggly, but uh, you can't tell quite as much uh, on the computer screen. The, the major problem I'm running into with uh, the podcast is that I'm running out of new hoodies to wear. I think this is like our eighth show, and I've worn a new, I've worn a different hoodie for each show. I'm trying uh-huh. to get all dusted up for the fans, you know, um, and I think this is, this is like my eighth hoodie. I just, I'm, ru- I'm running low. You should have prepared better and stocked your closet with more hoodies. It might be a sign that it's time for you to do some uh, retail therapy, perhaps at the pro shop with another rub sweatshirt. Yeah, I might have to, might have to get online and, uh, and do some, some online ordering, get some new fresh hoodies. All right, well, we'll stay tuned for next week when we see what kind of hoodie you can bring to the table. But for now, we do have a special guest that's joining us, New England Revolution defender Michael Mancian. Michael, thank you for taking the time and welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, uh, we're excited to catch up with you. It's been a while. It has been a while. It's just, it's been crazy times, to be honest, hasn't it? So, uh, yeah, it's just, yeah, it's difficult for everyone, I suppose. Well, given the circumstances of COVID-19, how are you and your family holding up? Uh, not, we've been fine, to be honest. It's just, just trying to find things to do during the day, trying to stay busy, um, Honestly, every day seems to be blending into each other. Some day, it's like sometimes we just, we're just like, what day is it? Like, what time is it? We're literally, we don't know what day, day of the week it is because it's just every day is like Groundhog Day. You wake up, you do the same thing. It's, honestly, we, we get so excited for when our son goes to sleep, um, like for a, a bit of alone time. But then we're so tired, we literally go to bed like 10 minutes after he's gone down because we just can't be asked to stay up any longer. So it's been, um, yeah, it's crazy. It's been a bit crazy. Here he comes to make noise as well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, hi, Noah. Hey, Noah. What's going on, dude? Say hi. Say hi. You get a little wave? Hey, buddy. Um, he's, he's slowly wants to check out what's going on. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> wow, look at him. <laughs> he's so big. I can see you in him. Really, yeah, really like the features. You guys have very similar eyes. <laughs> oh, thank you. Well, speaking of Noah, we know he's about one and a half years old right now. Yes. Yes, he is. So how has he been doing during this time? Obviously, he gets a lot more quality time with his dad, which I'm sure he's excited about. He's, he's been great. He's, he drags me around everywhere. Literally, he's, he's, he's at a stage where as soon as he sees me sit on the sofa when I'm tired and I'm comfortable, he'll, he'll walk over to me, grab my finger, and drag me somewhere to go play with him. Right, What's finish. his favorite game to play right now? His favorite game is, I don't know, he, he does weird stuff. Like, he likes to go to, like, the edge of the bed and wear, like, the covers, the duvets hanging off the bed. He likes to hide, un- like, pretend he's hiding underneath it. I don't know, it's weird. And then he, he'll drag me in there with him. And we bought him, so we thought, ah, oh, let's buy him a tent. Cause he likes to, he likes like being under like covers and stuff. So we bought him a tent. He loved his tent for the first week and haven't seen him go in it ever since. He prefers the covers. So it's weird, weird child, strange child. Yeah, are you, are you trying to get uh, the soccer ball into the mix at all? Is he, is he kicking oh. a soccer ball around at all at one and a half? Yeah, yeah he has been. Um, literally the other day, but I've, we've got him two little footballs. I was just playing football with him. He loves it. He runs after the ball and tries to kick it. So yeah, he's uh yeah, I've been getting him into it. Proud dad. <laughs> he's trying to, trying to oh, oh he's doing the finger pull. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna do the rest of the show from under the under the duvet? No. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say I blame you on that one. <laughs> and you mentioned that uh he's been kicking the soccer ball around a little bit, but before that you were talking about with Jeff and I prior to getting on the show that you've been watching a lot of movies. What are some of Noah's favorite TV shows and movies that you've been watching? Well, we've watched both Lion Kings, old and new, over a hundred times. Um, to be fair, I, I, I actually enjoy it as well, so I don't even mind that being on. He That's likes, my favorite Disney movie. Yeah, he loves it. He, he likes Wreck-It Ralph. Another he good one? Wreck-It Ralph. My missus is trying to embarrass me saying that I love Wreck-It Ralph, but he <laughs> loves Wreck-It Ralph. Um, what other ones has he been watching? Up, he likes the film Up because he likes all the balloons when all the balloons are on the TV. He gets really excited and starts shouting, wow. 
Uh, and he likes Mickey Mouse Clubhouse as well, to be fair. He loves that. He likes, he loves Coco. Loves Coco. Um, I've seen that a million times. I, know, I think I knew, I know every single word from the film. So, yeah, that's it, really. Now, are there any, I, I feel like it's always interesting talking to parents of young kids because they talk about the shows and the movies that the kids watch. And it feels like there's always one that the parents hate, cannot stand. I know a ton of, a ton of young parents have talked about like the show Caillou. They're like, my kids love the show Caillou and I hate Caillou. Is there anything that Noah really loves to watch and wants to put on here? Like, not, nah, not that again. Anything you just can't stand? Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a show on Netflix called Baby Bum. It's like all the nursery songs. Oh, it's so annoying. I hate it. I've listened to it so many times. But he loves it. That's the thing that, like, maybe before, like, we're go he's going to bed. Like, we'll make him a bottle. We'll put that on. And he gets excited. He'll sit on the sofa, drink his bottle, and then, like, half fall asleep. But, yeah, that's the one that I can't stand because I've listened to it ever since he was, like, a baby. A baby baby. How often do some of those theme songs get stuck in your head? Oh, all night. You, you, you end up humming them and... You don't even realise you're doing it in your head. It's so annoying. I, literally, we've just gone for a walk, uh, me and my missus as well. We took him for a walk. And on the walk, I was humming a tune. That's obviously from one of his programmes. I'm like, what's that, what's that from? And it's stuck in my head. Sorry, he's trying to drag me places. I'm not, I can't come, baby. One second. Sorry, guys. No, this is, this is life right now, man. We love We're getting it. a glimpse. Every day. <laughs> And you mentioned that uh, you guys have been going on some walks. How big of a silver lining has that been for you guys during this time to spend some quality time as a family together? Yeah, it's massive. To be honest, I really look forward to just getting out of the house and going for the walk, like walk with like my family. We we live in Norwood as well, and we like go for like an hour long walk pretty much every single day, every single morning, roughly around his like nap time. So he obviously naps on the walk. Um, yeah, it's just been, and because it's like a lovely day, it's just, it's just really nice just to get out and just, yeah, spend that quality time together. That's awesome. I mean, it's great to get outside and just kind of ex explore a little bit with the family as well. And um, this is a tough one. I'm sure there's a lot to share, but do you have a cute Noah story you can share with us from this time where you've been home for seven weeks with him? A cute Noah story? I need to, wait, let me wreck my brains. Uh... Well, the cutest thing that he's done, I don't know if it's cute, but a funny thing that he's done is, um, so obviously we do our workout videos um, over Zoom as well with uh, with Jared and the, and the boys. And obviously we was doing like a jumping exercise and he's come, I've never ever seen him jump. So he's obviously come behind me and he's trying to copy me and he's trying to jump off the floor. And he probably thinks that he's jumping really high off the floor, but he's like, he's getting about that much off the floor. But it was, yeah, that was, quite, that was quite cute, to be honest. That was probably one of the cutest things. We, we might have to try to get that right? video. <laughs> Say that again, sorry? I, I was just said we might have to try to get in touch with Jared to get that video. I've got it. I've got it on my, I've got it on my oh, phone. Yeah. Video, yeah, I've actually got it. I, put it I, I did post it on my Instagram story, I think. All right. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. Uh, and I know you mentioned that you're in Norwood right now. Um, in, a, in a recent interview that you did with Tribal Football, it was mentioned that when your contract um, was up for renewal, that you didn't even explore other options. You were all in on the revs. What made you so decisive about staying with the revs this year? Um, I, just, I just really enjoyed it. Um, I really enjoyed the experience uh, and I wanted to further the experience of um, being in America, playing for the revs. Um, I just felt like we, I was starting to settle down here as well. So. I didn't want to move my family to America for like a year and then have to move them straight back to England because I know I'm going to probably eventually end up living in England. So while I have the chance in my career to do something like this, I'd rather, I would want to do this, to be honest, to explore. How has your family adjusted to living in, in Massachusetts? Um, yeah, fine. Um, my missus has got everything on lockdown, to be honest. She knows everything, like what's going on and... She's good friends with uh, with Till's missus, Katie. So um, they keep well informed. So no, she's um, yeah, she's she's up to date. I'm I'm just I just follow what she's doing. To be honest, that's awesome. And I know you mentioned uh, you you have a lot of family over in England. Do you have you kept in touch with them during this time? Have you been FaceTiming a lot? 
that's all you can do to be honest sometimes you're so bored that's all you want to do is just like just see what everyone else is doing um yeah to be honest we we keep in touch with all our family we speak to them pretty much every single day just uh, even if it's just my mum just wanting to see like i literally call my mum she'll say hello to me and then we won't speak for about half an hour she just wants to watch noah what he's doing so i'll literally just show him what what he's up to and stuff like that and yeah just been keeping in contact with everyone I can't say I blame her. I mean, from the small glimpse, it seems like he's very entertaining. Yeah, he is very entertaining. And we, to be honest, we have a we have a quiz night as well every Friday with our family, um, like a massive quiz night on over Zoom, which is, to be honest, we actually look forward to doing. Like we really look forward to doing it now. It's um, yeah, it's fun. Is a quiz night similar to a game night? Yeah, well, yeah. It's just we just. Um, each family or each person will write down 10 questions. So me and my missus will write down 10 questions. Her mum and dad will write down 10. Her sister and her boyfriend will write down 10. And her grand and granddad will write down 10 as well. 10 questions and then we just add it up and we've just got like a little leak going as well. So yeah, we've just been doing that. So like like trivia night here, like bar yeah, like trivia. trivia night. Are you, yeah, exactly. how, how, how are your trivia skills? You good? Getting better, I suppose. <laughs> Nothing to do but learn right now. Exactly. So, yeah, I think I've, uh, I've improved. What are the range of questions that you guys talk about? Um, so the first time we did it, me and my missus did, like, movies, stuff to do with movies and film. Oh, lovely, baby, thanks. Um, and the second time we did it, we did back to school. So I was uh, asking questions about science, maths, and all that kind of stuff. So we, we tried to do it with, like, a theme. But, um, yeah. Not too bad. It's been good. Themes. I like that. Back to school is a good one. I might have to steal that one. And yeah, I, I know you're saying that you, you stayed in close contact with your family. Have you kept in contact with any of your former Nottingham Ham Forest teammates at all or anyone that you've played with over in England? Um, not, well, a little bit. Um, when I play PlayStation, I, I, I speak to some of the boys that, uh, that I've played with because um, they're all on there. Um, that's the only kind of form of contact I've had with them. I haven't really video called them or anything like that. I'll speak mm -hmm. to them over like the PlayStation uh, gaming device. And you might not have videoed with them, but you mentioned Zooming with your teammates for, for team workouts. How closely have you stayed in touch with your teammates? Um, yeah, pr pretty close. Uh, I, speak, I speak to a few of the boys quite often. And obviously when we're on there, we, we all have a chat and whatever. Um, but it's just, I don't know, like I said, when you've got when you're running around after him all day, it's just you just lose track of time with with things as well. Who's in your Zoom workout class? Uh, who's in it? It's Till, Andrew, uh, Adam, Alex, uh, Brad. Brad's in there. Who else is in there? I know there's a couple more. Steps in there. Um, We've interviewed quite a few of those guys on the podcast, Jeff. We really are just it's, rotating through It's been through the same, same group. It's like group. five oh, weeks really? in a row. I think every guy we've had on has been in the same group. Are there any guys in that group who have had any trouble with the technology? Because obviously we're in a situation now where the only way anyone can really interact is getting on Zoom. It feels like anytime you get on a Zoom call with like 10, 15 people, there's always that one person who like can't get the camera working, can't get the audio working. Is there any teammate? Who's particularly nah, had trouble with the audio? Nah, we've been sorted to be fair. We've been yeah. good. Everyone, no, there's been no problems. How's, how's, have you had any contact with Bruce? Has Bruce been good with the technology? Uh, yeah, we had, a, we had a team meeting um, a few days ago. Yeah, he was fine. He was good with it. I think right. Luis was the one that struggled. Struggled <laughs> to get out of the pool. But um, yeah, everyone else was fine. From some of your teammates that we've talked with, uh, in particular, I think it was either Seth or Teal mentioned that the Zoom workouts are actually pretty hard. How strongly do you agree with that statement? Very strongly. After, after, the, after the workouts, like my legs are so heavy. Um, yeah, it's been tough. It's, but to be honest, it, it depends on how hard you want to push yourself as well, really, um, how hard you want to work. But um, yeah, it's been, it's been tough. It's been really tough. But it's good. What are some of those exercises that you've done in those Zoom workouts? Um, obviously, we do a lot of the bike. Um, it's a lot of plyometric stuff, um, planking, 
um, yeah, just stuff like that, to be honest. And how much have you been able to work on your soccer skills at home? I know you said you've been able to get out and go for, for walks, but have you been able to kick around a soccer ball at all? Yeah, not, it's not a proper soccer ball. It's like a little plastic ball that me and my missus, literally, we have a competition every single night. So we do headers with each other. We head it back and forth to each other. And we always try and beat our records. So we're on like, what are we on? We're, yeah, we're on about 227, like back and forth headers. And we get really disappointed when we, when we, when we drop the ball. And that's, that's decent, 227. She used to play football as well. So she's pretty, she's pretty good. Um, yeah, and it's just, yeah, just that. And I'll, I'll just do kick-ups in the, in the living room while Noah's like trying to run around and grab the ball. And I'll just be flicking it over his head. And just, that's the only football that I have been able to touch. That's awesome. I didn't realize that your, your missus played football as well. That's great that you guys have that connection. Yeah, she played. She played for Nottingham Forest Ladies as well. Does um, that mean that Noah is destined to to have the soccer ball in his hand? Yeah, I didn't meet her that way, but um, yeah, that's why he's he's got football in his blood. I hope so. Hopefully, he'll be a footballer as well. Well, it sounds like you have the headers to keep your head in the game. But while it, it's it's tough to not be at training right now, it's also tough mentally to not be on the field with your teammates competing, how have you kind of kept yourself mentally sane during this time? Um, to be honest, like I said, that the, every day is just blending into one. If it wasn't for him, then I think I'd go crazy because he always keeps us busy. Um, and to be honest, we've been do, I've been doing Bible study as well with a few of the boys as well. And that's kept, that's kept me going um, during the weeks. Um, I look forward to doing that. Um, yeah, just little things like that have kept me kept me going, and looking forward to. To be honest, I really look forward to. Like we order um, Hello Fresh. I don't know if you know what that is. Yeah. So we order meals. Right? Yeah. So we order meals. So I we look forward to making those meals with each other every single night. So that's been that's been good as well. Well, that's a great segue to another topic we want to hit because while training is important, what something that's maybe even more important during this time is is what you're eating. So what are some of the meals that you've been cooking? Um, just healthy meals. My missus has just literally made made some food for me right now. So um, it's like chicken and pizza with salad and stuff like that. So um, yeah, I've been trying to keep on top of eating healthy. I've, I've had the one or two cheat cheat days where I've, where I've eaten pretty bad, but um, I've tried to stay on top of it. Any eat better, any good. What's your favorite cheat meal that you've had? It's not so much a cheap meal. It's it's more like I just I love biscuits. Well, you don't call them biscuits. What do you call them? Cookies. Um, like digestive hobnobs. I don't know if you know what hobnobs are. They're unbelievable. They're like chocolate covered cookies, but they're um. I could I once I eat one, I can't stop, and I just want to eat the whole pack. So yeah, that's been been my downfall. Are there are there any foods you've been in the U.S. for? Uh, you know, all coming up on two years now. Have have there been any foods that you've kind of come on to since coming to the United States? Any foods that have been kind of more American foods that you didn't eat as much in England that you you kind of discovered? Um, no, nah, not not really, to be honest. Nothing that I can, nothing that springs to mind. Um. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> Hey, Noah. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> He's using that imagination. Yeah. Uh, no, there's nothing that I can think of, to be honest. Sorry. No, you're good. We, I, I asked Adam Books of that question because he's only been in the U.S. for a few weeks, and he was immediately like burgers. Uh, he's like, I can get an okay burger in Poland, but I get burgers over here. I'm like, all right, that's, that sounds pretty – that sounds right for America. <laughs> <laughs> I, think that, I think what you eat over here and what we eat in England is pretty – Similar, anyway. There's not. There's nothing that I can that really stands out. That's massively different. Fair Other enough. than the names of things like biscuits or really cookies <laughs> and vice versa, like that. No, no. All I'm saying is, if you see chocolate covered hobnobs next time you go for a food shop, just buy them. All right. All right. With a nice On cup of list. tea. With a cup of tea. Oh my god. It's game over. Game over. That sounds phenomenal. And and Michael, you mentioned. This must have been uh, right after you started with the Revs. We did a Thanksgiving piece with you and Andrew and some of the players, and you mentioned that you love custard. Have you had any custard during this time? 
No, I haven't, to be honest. I haven't had custard once. I, I, I forgot about custard, to be honest. Um, <laughs> to, to be honest, my sister is the one that always, like when I'm back in England, she's the one that always makes custard. She'll make like a dessert. Like she'll, um, she'll do like an apple crumble with custard and it would be amazing. That's where I eat custard a lot. I don't, when I'm by myself, like I never, never even think to make it. I don't even know how to make custard. I'd have to look into that. No, it's, it's easy. It's, you, you literally, it's, it's already kind of made. You just warm it up. Okay. All right. I'm going to have to give that a go. I've been doing a lot of baking, so I'll try to add that one into the list. We've been doing, well, my missus has been doing a lot of baking as well. What's she been baking for you? Um, she baked, she baked uh, some cookies, but like, babe, what did you bake? Um, oat, oat milk. Out of oats. She, she made it like out of oats and mm, she made some avocado brownies. It doesn't sound good, but it was amazing. They're amazing, <laughs> avocado brownies. I don't know, yeah, she's just been baking some really nice stuff to be honest. That's awesome. I understand the healthy baking. We've been doing some of that in my household too, just trying yeah. new recipes and seeing how they come out. Yeah, were you skeptical of the avocado really brownies at first? So, sorry, say that again. Were you skeptical of the avocado brownies? Yeah, I was thinking avocado brownies. I've never even heard of something like that. What, what's that going to taste like? But honestly, it was actually really, really nice. Sounds really like nice. Yeah, well she, well, she would come across something on Instagram or somewhere and be like, oh, I want to try that, and goes and tries it, and it was, ends up being really, really nice, so I've been enjoying that. So you guys have been baking, you've been playing with Noah, which I know has been a lot of your time in addition to training. What else have you been up to? Have you had any spare time? No. <laughs> like I said, when we have our spare time, we're literally shattered from the day. Of running around after him that we want to go to bed. We we watched a couple of shows. We watched Ozark, recently finished Ozark, and we really enjoyed that. But we haven't really found anything else that's been on that kind of level for us. So, yeah, literally we go to, we, we're, we're shattered. We make dinner and we pretty much head to bed. This is probably a different type of time for you guys, just because even in the off season, you guys have the ability to, to go out and go places, go home. Um, but right now you're inside with Noah most of the day. Have you learned anything new about yourself as a parent from spending so much time like that? No. <laughs> nah. There's nothing, sorry, nothing that comes to my mind. No. Just that, I don't know. No, you, you have spent more time with your family. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, the blessing, the silver lining is, yeah, I get to spend a lot of time with my family. But um, I haven't learned anything new about myself as a parent. Have you kept I have an, an important Sorry, question. Go you, you did mention, I know you haven't had much time to do anything other than hang with the family, which is fantastic, but you mentioned keeping in touch with some of your former teammates a little bit through PlayStation. Like, have you, have you played much FIFA 20? Like, how familiar are you with FIFA 20? I haven't played any FIFA 20. Have you seen what you look like in FIFA 20? Have I got plaques? What's that? Have I got plaques? I don't know if I know what plaques is. Like braids? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was cool. So, I've got, so this, this is the front shot. This isn't too bad, but that's, that's the front shot in FIFA 20, where it gets great. Can you show, can you show that again? My missus wants to see. Can you show that you can one again? See, you can see from the back, they've got, the, they've got them going halfway down your back, oh, too. Yeah. But that's how I used. To, honestly, that's my hair used to be like that though. When but I how long? Happy. How long has it been since that was since that was your hairstyle? Like seven, eight years. Yes. <laughs> Seems weird. The FIFA still got that hairstyle in there. I think they tried. They tried to just embarrass me on purpose or something. I don't know. You might. Have, you might have to bring it back just so that FIFA's accurate. Nah, no chance. That you don't was, think by the. By the time quarantine's done, your hair won't be won't look like that. To be honest, I've got I found a new barber. My missus has been barbering me, and she's been well. Not I need a haircut today, to be honest, but she's been doing a really good job. So my barber in England has video called us and walked her through how to cut my hair, and she's actually done. She's cut my hair really good a good few times. So I think she's my new barber. Were you, oh, all right. Were you skeptical when you first let her cut your hair? 
to be honest, I was just, I wasn't expecting much anyway. I was just like, hair grows. We're here for, I don't know how long. So I wasn't too bothered. And the first time she cut it, it was actually, it was actually quite good. I was like, oh, that's actually not bad. And the next time my, my, my barber actually called me when she was cutting my hair because I posted a picture. He was like, I'm here to save you, bro. I said, all right, cool. And he walked her, he walked her through, walked her through like what to do. And yeah, she's done an amazing job. And uh, yeah, so she's, she's been cutting my hair. So right now, like now I'm not even worried. I, I, I just trust her. So you haven't found any new talents, but your wife has found out that she secretly has barber skills. My, my wife has found out all sorts of talent. She's, she's doing her own nails. She's doing all sorts of stuff. Cutting hair, she's, she's, she can now bake. <laughs> Great time to learn new things. And uh, yeah. I, I know we talked about keeping up um, on FIFA a little bit with Jeff, but have you kept up with your teammates on social at all during this time? To be honest, I don't really, go, I haven't been going on social media that uh, too, too much. Um, I haven't really, I haven't really been on social media. I haven't really been on Instagram or anything. I, sometimes I'll post something. So I'm literally just clicking, like clicking and posting it, and then I'm not really searching through. So I just can't be asked. I can't be asked to be, like to, to go through it all. It's just too much. It's too much. My missus loves TikTok, so I'm just hearing pure TikToks, and I just can't be asked to listen to what's going on. Well, I wanted to ask you about TikTok because Andrew Farrell put out um, put out a lot of content on his TikTok account, and one of them was a video where he kind of made alter egos of different types of player personas coming into the stadium before games. So, you know, you have your eager rookie, you have your second year pro that's a little, little too cocky. You have uh, someone that just has like too much swag. Have you seen that video at all? No, I haven't. I'm going to look for it though after this. I know. I, I think you got to look for it. Should I pull it up, Jeff, or should I uh, get, get the reaction? I mean, if you, if you, could, if you could get it up quick, yeah. It's, yeah, I'll uh, it right now. it's pretty special. It, uh, yeah, it's basically like what, what type of clothing – different types of players would wear you know when you're the yeah the rookie coming in he calls someone the second year try hard comes in on like a hoverboard <laughs> all right well why is there no sound no. <laughs> I need to watch this properly. I can't see it. I can't see it. I know, I know. We'll have, we'll have to send it to you to watch after. It's uh, it's quite entertaining. Yeah, I, I need to watch that properly. That we, asked, we asked Keel about it. Uh, I think it was two weeks ago at this point, and he said that he just nailed all of the looks. He was like, I can't tell you who's who in that, but we can definitely think about it. <laughs> uh. <laughs> has, has your wife pulled you into any of her TikToks? she getting you involved at all? Has she pulled me into her TikTok? Of course she bloody has. <laughs> I'm sad. You got there. all she'll the dances down? Oh, she'll see something and she'll be like, babe, let's try this. Come on, let's try this. And so, yeah, I've been dragged into a few TikToks. What's the craziest dance or move you've had to learn for TikTok? The one where we were on the floor and we had to do that. Oh yeah, I don't know how to I don't know how to explain. I can send you the can I? Yeah, just send. Have you got the link? Yeah. I can send you the link to it, but I can't. I don't know how to explain what we did. To be honest. <laughs> so right, we'll we'll, send the link. we'll look up her account and then we'll just take all those and put them on the rest website. They'll be they'll be there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it sounds like you're a celebrity in the making on TikTok, or at least your wife is. <laughs> well, my wife is not me. <laughs> I do make her videos good, so. All right, and I think uh, Jeff has some would you rather type questions that he wants yeah. to close out with. Now that we've disarmed you, I'll hit you with your would you rather questions, let you go, let you eat your lunch. So uh, just uh, five would you rather, few are soccer related, few aren't soccer related, but I'll hit you with them. Okay. As someone who's been an England international, say you're on the World Cup stage, would you rather beat Germany or Scotland on the World Cup stage? Germany. All right. Would you rather shave your head clean, like bick it down to the skin, or let your hair go for a year and not be able to touch it? Let my hair grow for a year. All right. You should just do that. <laughs> 
Does it bring back memories of the FIFA hair from seven or eight years ago? <laughs> Would you rather block a shot with your face or I'll say your, your midsection? That's the, the best way I can put it. My face. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good answer. It's the right answer. Would you rather live in a real life version of The Walking Dead, so zombies, or Jurassic so Park? <laughs> Dinosaurs. Yeah. Uh, walking Dead. Yeah, you take your chances with the zombies? Yeah, because dinosaurs, they're unpredictable. At least The Walking Dead, they're kind of slow. You can run away from them. Fair enough. Finally, would you rather play for Jurgen Klopp or Pep Guardiola? Klopp. All right. And then I'll just ask you finally to close out for me. If you could, I'm going to put you on the spot. If you could go back right now and relive one moment from your career, you could feel all the emotions of that moment again. What one moment from your career would you love to go back and be able to experience again? Oh, that's a tough one. I've got, I've got a few to be fair, but um, one that just sticks out in my mind is when um, I was obviously a, a young lad and I came on in the Champions League for Chelsea against Juventus. Um, that moment stands out to me. And just because all the emotions running after the game and um, just driving home just felt amazing um so yeah probably that it's not your disallowed goal in seattle that they ended up then giving back nah. to you that wasn't that wasn't <laughs> the big moment you want to relive <laughs> all right that's it from me you've made it through yeah. unscathed top man thank you you survived congratulations michael cheers elizabeth thank you are we done well, thank you so much for joining us today we really appreciate your time i know noah is eager to get your attention and drag <laughs> yeah. you under the covers and to the duvet uh, no, for, no, no. for support time. So, no, so no. We'll, we'll wrap up and let you go. But thank you again for joining us. We really appreciate it. No, cheers, guys. Appreciate it.